So, as requested, I am going to go over my settings real quick. It's just going to be a short video of like a raise main settings. My sensitivity is kind of fast because I have to do like 180s when I'm actually to clear all the angles. So, I can kind of do like a 180 to kind of like a 360 in one swipe. So, if that's what you like, then I guess you might like my settings. But, so my sensitivity is a 0.355 on a 1200 DPI. I use the yellow uh, enemy color. Um, none of this is really special. It's just most of my stuff is kind of default. And then for my controls, for actions, I have left control for my boom bot. I satchel with my button on my mouse. I throw my nade with E. Then my ultimate is X. And then for equipment, I actually use spike for Q. So Q should be the other default action when it comes to using your abilities. And I just moved my Q to spike. I found it a lot easier. So I'm not trying to find where my spike button is on my uh, uh, keyboard because I think the default was like four. And it's kind of like a weird spot to be planning with on the keyboard. So I kind of leave it on Q. And here's another tip to use. Uh, go down to settings and do most recently equipped so after you're done planning the spike if you have wait, actually I have this on because I don't like it I, I'm, uh, since I'm a raise main I always have shotguns so I would advise you to do strongest if you're not like a shotgun user but I have this one on because if I have a sheriff and a bucky and I have my knife out or I just finished planning spike I don't want it to pull out my Bucky for a long range gunfight, like after I finish planning. So I always leave it on this one, but I would advise you doing Strogans because if you're planting and you have a Vandal and it pulls out your pistol, that would not be good. And then for it to not pull out your knife, you just click that. So this is, this could save your life many, many, many times. I like to leave this one on though because again, I use shotguns and sheriffs. I like to keep my sheriff close to me. And then for communication, uh, I talk with F1 to my party. And for team, I do another button on my mouse because I find it simple to talk to my team without looking down on my keyboard trying to figure out how to do that. It's just I can talk to my team with the button on my mouse and not have to worry about messing up my aim or anything. So that's about all of that. Nothing special. Here's my crosshair. It's just kind of like a default one. And then for video, uh, I put all my graphics on low. I'm not sure what all of these do down here, but I turn them all off. And then I have one X on this one. Um, but if you do have a good graphics card, put your uh, low latency down here on on plus boost, and it'll help give it a little boost if you have a good graphics card. If you don't, I wouldn't advise it. It might run it too hard. So if you do though, try to put that on on plus boost, and it should help out your frames. And then you want to do max FPS on the max that your monitor and PC can do. So if your PC can do like 400 frames but your monitor can only do 164, then put it on 164 so that you're not over overrunning your PC. So that's why mine is on 164. And then audio, nothing special. Yeah, so that's about it. So this is a raise mains settings. If you ever want like some fast sensitivity like this it works for me it could work for you i don't know but that's about it so thanks for watching